What's up guys, Susto7 here and today I'm going to show off how to use the Xbox One Smart Glass app for your Android or iOS phone. Also one quick note as we get started, sorry for the weird resolutions here, uh, you cannot actually rotate this app so you cannot use it landscape. Um, I'm not sure if that's something that they'll uh, patch or update in the future but for right now it's going to be portrait only so sorry for the resolutions, I'll just have this uh, kind of take up a, a little bit of your screen here. Alright, let's get on to it. So the first thing that you need to know is that the uh, Android app is available right now, even though the Xbox is not out. We're still a couple days away from launch, but if you want to get in on this app, you can um, get your Xbox already um, for day one launch. So let's go ahead and, and load this up. The first thing I want to do is connect your console. Clicking right here, connect. You'll see that it will scan for consoles. Now, because the Xbox One is not out, I don't have one yet, so you see it can't find it, um, but that's okay. That's what we expect. I'll show you what else the app can do um, in prep for countdown. So let's start by uh, clicking up here on our friends. And you'll see the friends list is actually segmented into friends, followers, and favorites. So you can view the people that you're currently friends with on um, your Xbox Live account. You can also specify your followers. Now I'll have a video detailing exactly what the difference is between that. If you scroll to the right, you can view the activity feed of your friends that are currently online. I'll go ahead and click on one of my friends here. I can see what he's playing. I can view his reputation. You see that his icon looks a little bit smaller. I'm assuming that's because we'll have a higher resolution um, avatars to represent ourselves. And as I scroll through, I can see what kind of game clips, activity, achievements. Um, this person obviously does not have an Xbox One yet, so I can't view any of that. But one of the cool things you can do with the app is actually send a message. So let me just uh, type this person a message real quick. I'll just say, you know, hey, I'm using the uh, Xbox Smart Glass. There we go, and we'll get this sent. And that will be delivered right to that player in-game. So that's a pretty cool feature if you if you get a lot of messages, um, sort of like I do. Um, so let's go on to the next uh, thing in the menu, which is achievements. Um, so it, it's, you know, it sees that I'm not finding any, but that's because I don't have an Xbox One yet, but uh, I'll, we'll get to that in a minute. I want to talk about challenges real quick. Challenges are new um, to Xbox One. I'll click on this Madden I Was There challenge. And you can see I have 15 days remaining to complete a game of football during the two-week period after launch. So this will give me an exclusive um, in-game reward as well as an exclusive um, achievement. So there are some achievements like this that are actually time-based. So as I scroll through, you see the longest one is this Just Dance, and I have 365 days left to complete this. So there are some of these time-sensitive um, uh, uh, the challenges is what they call them, and that actually I do think is pretty cool. So if we scroll over, we'll see the achievements, what I've unlocked on the 360. I'll click here on Call of Duty Ghosts. It shows me my progress um, when I last played it, and I can scroll over and see what achievements I've earned, and click here to see what achievements are still locked. You can also view achievements for games that you have not played yet, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So if we click here on Pins, that's the next item in our menu, Pins are things that you can pin much like in the 360 to your app, as well as you can um, use them, they'll be ready day one on your uh, console. So we'll see here this NFL app. If I click play, um, I can actually play it right on the Xbox One from my smart glass. Again, I don't have an Xbox uh, connected right now, but, but if I did. But we'll go ahead and unpin that so it'll be gone, and I'll just show you how to re-add it. So if you want to find uh, apps or other things to pin, we'll just go home. We'll click on the magnifying glass in the top right, and I'll just go ahead and search for something like uh, Hulu. Now you'll see it'll be searching in all media for this, so I'll click where it says all. It already found it, but just so I can show you what to do, we'll click where it says all. You know, since I'm not looking for Family Guy or, or all in the family, and we'll specify we're looking for apps only. There we go. Found Hulu. We'll go ahead and click on that. Here I can get some information about it, rate it, and of course I can pin it. So let's go ahead and pin this. And this will be a pinned now on my console as well as on my Smart Glass app. So now let's get that NFL uh, app back. There we go. We see the NFL app. And I'll go ahead and pin this, that way I can get into all the NFL action as soon as the console releases on Friday. Now if I go home and scroll down, you can see where all of my pins are here in the bottom. And there's NFL and Hulu. You can scroll through all of your pinned activities, and you can quick launch them from your Smart Glass app, as well as from your uh, new Xbox One console. 
also scroll you through the feature list right up here. All of these things can be pinned. You see that's games, movies, TV shows, anything. So I'll click here on Rise, which is a launch title I'm going to be picking up. So you'll see some content from that come out. You can get some information about it, as well as you see the circles on the bottom means you can swipe to the left and right in order to see more information, like uh, possible add-ons for the game. So I can see here that this game, uh, Rise, has a season pass. So I can click on that and get some information uh, about this um, season pass and consider if I want to make it uh, as a purchase. All right, so let's back out here to uh, back to the, the Rise menu and keep scrolling through this. We can see the challenges that are available for this game as well as the achievements. And this is where we can view the achievements for games that I have not played yet. So if you want to see what some of the achievements are, no spoilers, it still won't show any of the secret achievements, but um, it is pretty cool to scroll through and see achievements for games you plan on picking up. You can see related titles. I'm not sure how Need for Speed is related, or FIFA, but maybe because they're launch titles. And then you can scroll over and even uh, see some images. So let's click on one of these images. And we can see kind of the, the, the beauty of this uh, stunning full 1080p game that's going to be released here in just a couple days. So we can scroll through some of those images. So yeah, let's go uh, back to my profile here. Real quick, something I want to show you is that you see it says reputation, and I actually have a reputation bar. That reputation is something that's new to the Xbox One. Um, how that essentially is going to work is if you are a good player, if you're staying in games, you're a good sport, your reputation will go up and you'll be more likely to be matched with players of a similar or higher reputation than yourself. So make sure that you're a good player when the console releases on Friday. That way you can uh, you know, get in games with other good players. So that's all I got for you guys. If you guys got any questions, let me know. Just so you know, for logistics reasons, I am running this on a Galaxy S3 Android phone. Um, it is available for Windows 8, uh, iOS, and Android. And, uh, uh, the app is, at, at least right now, fully functional um, with my S3 phone. I've had no problems using the app. It's been pretty cool. I've been sending messages to some of my fans just saying, hey, I'm using Smart Glass, you know. Uh, so if you've got one of those messages or shout-outs from me, um, you know, y y enjoy that. Um, and I'll do a video once I'm able to actually get the Xbox One and get Smart Glass connected because uh, I loved the Xbox 360 Smart Glass app. And, and one quick note is that this is a separate app to download in the App Store. So uh, I, I thought maybe it was the old Xbox uh, 360 Smart Glass, but it is a totally separate app. So be sure to check out that app. I'll have some links in the description where you can download it and uh, get all ready for Xbox One Day One launch. Thanks so much for watching, guys. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I got some more videos right here for you. The video on the left is to another app walkthrough. This is using the Call of Duty app, the new app that came out, how you can manage your clans and get into the new clan wars and things. And the video on the right is how you can have more than uh, 100 friends with the new Xbox One system that you can add right from your Smart Glass app. I'll talk about right how you can do that. Check it out.